Today I thought I'd share with you this speaker wire antenna I made. This antenna is being made as a backup emergency antenna just in case I forgot something when I get to Summit or my antenna breaks. I'll always have this one with me. Now there are a couple things you should know before we get started. First, you're going to want to know what frequency you're making this antenna for. I used the website that I'll link right here. I used the frequency 14.063. Now this is a project done on YouTube by Kilo Golf 6. Hotel Quebec Delta, who is now a silent key. He has some awesome videos about soda also, if you want to look them up. I picked this antenna to build specifically because it's very easy and very affordable. As you can see, you tie an electrician's knot right here. You could pause the video so you could see how to tie the knot. I kept the antenna wire connected together for about 20 feet. That would work as my coax. Then about 20 feet up, as I said, I tied an electrician's knot. Next, I connected the other end of the antenna to this dual female banana plug. I will include a link to this banana plug in the description. I simply used some zip ties and drilled some holes for insulators. Guy lines can attach to the S hooks and then you can attach your antenna to the holes in the zip tie and tie off each guy line. When you tune your antenna, you can fold the wires back through these holes on the zip tie to make it resonant before cutting it. So we have the speaker wire hooked up to an electrician's knot and a carabiner. The radiator side that way, which is the copper, and then the other side that way. Obviously it's lowered right now. Have it over a limb to make it an inverted V. And we got signal reports as far as California with a 579. So it's working really well. 